Hi, I am reviewing Lee Siegel's Against the Machine for my digital culture class. Just a little bit. So, it, was, it wasn't as interesting a book as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to detail... I thought it was going to detail the epic struggle between humanity and the machines that they have created. Well, in a way it did, but <clears throat> I felt like it was nothing but an angry rant about how we are losing said battle and how digital culture and online technology is destroying human society, blah, 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 blah. And some parts of it were unbearable to read because there was just stuff that Lee Siegel came out and said that I know was completely wrong. For instance, he did say at one point that everything you post online is going to be up there forever, but <clears throat> my digital culture professor has told me otherwise and because people can totally edit and take down websites. So. And there, there are plenty better examples of his false credibility, but I won't dwell on that too much. But the point is that it was very hard to get, well, it wasn't hard to get through this book, but it was just not enjoyable to read him ranting about how people are just selfish. Now, he did say, make one or two points in the book that I thought were informative. They are kind of embedded between the angry ranting parts. And one, one interesting thing he said towards the end was that... <clears throat> one interesting thing he said towards the end was... was that the reason that there is so much hateful communication on the internet is because the internet is, pers is so personalized that we are, I use this word in my, my review, we are embedded, that's not the word I wanted to say, we are so thoroughly enmeshed within our own egos that we don't take the time to understand other people, and I felt like that point was really valid, among other points that he made, which you can probably argue with a little bit. So, Against the Machine by Lee Siegel. Again, it's an easy read, nine chapters broken up into three parts, but all he does is go into an angry rant. He doesn't talk about digital culture in an objective or informative way. So, not, not recommended for somebody who's looking for something to talk about <coughs> for an informed, unbiased discussion about the digital age.